Uh, um, like I said, I haven't really caught any Air Force games this past season, but I need to start paying attention to all these college games and not just the Ducks. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's go. Uh, well, two <laughs> things. He got really, really good in in drop back pass coverage, kind of playing the center field, um, reading quarterbacks' eyes and jumping routes. That led to his pick sixes that that made him an All Mountain West player. But his ability to rush the passer, um, and in the Air Force defense, a lot was is put on defensive backs because, by and large the defense is undersized and that just goes with playing football at the air force academy usually both sides of the ball are undersized so you have to get creative in the way that you attack and the defensive coordinator at air force does a tremendous job in bringing blitzes from different areas and trey taylor was a big big part of that the last couple of years he has a combined nine and a half uh, tackles for loss he got to the quarterback in very key situations in third downs with games on the line. If there was a play to be made, it was going to be Trey Taylor. And a lot of times it was plays that he made behind the line of scrimmage because he's instinctual, because he's aggressive. He just knows what he's doing out there. So if I had to pick one thing, I would say the way that he plays in the box and the way that he could get after the quarterback when that was asked of him. And that is Trey Taylor, man. That's the complete breakdown of him, man. Like I said, the more I, I dive in and, and, and learn more about him, more than just his football ability, but what he brings mentally to the game and, and just the kind of work ethic and kind of individual he is, man, more and more I'm convinced it was meant to be. You know what I mean? 